Hey, welcome back to Velox 18. We're here at the Jack Daniels Distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee. And uh, we started this, this video, this journey, uh, up in St. Louis, Missouri earlier today where we got loaded with some labels. Uh, it was a dry load. Uh, no need to run the reefer. Saved me a little money on some fuel. And then uh, I promptly realized I had the wrong delivery time in my head and I realized I had to burn whatever fuel I saved by not running the reefer by uh, hammering down and stepping on it to get here. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that because uh, we're starting at the end of the video. This is me making the delivery and obviously I'm here and I'm on time and everything's good. But you gotta go back into the video to watch the rest of it. So you guys are gonna rewind all the way back to the, today when I got loaded with this load. And uh, I'm gonna roll the music. Roll the music! <laughs> It is uh, one o'clock, just before one o'clock, and we are loaded up. So uh, we just gotta slide our tandems back under the trailer and uh, head on our way. All right, we're loaded up. Uh, I would say it's about 38,000 pounds, give or take. Uh, that's what it was supposed to be, so. Uh, which I figured, you know, paper, uh, like, labels, boxes of labels, um, that's, that's, uh, kind of what, what you expect, decently heavy loads, so, uh, gonna, um, kind of double back the way I came, even though it's quicker to go another way, like, like the way in here, um, the quicker way kind of takes you through, like, a lot more neighborhoods and stuff, and while I think that, it's probably you know okay because they're major roads and you know I think I could I could get away with it uh, from like a truck route perspective I uh, I just would prefer not to be on uh, residential roads as much as I can avoid it and uh, maybe maybe just get myself uh, back to an interstate so that's the that's the plan right now just to get back to Get back some interstates, get back some highways like that. So we're uh, gonna come over here. We'll make this left turn and uh, we'll run down this uh, same road we came in on and uh, shoot, go from there, man. Go from there. So let's go. All right, go for it then. Nice. That was an awesome running of the stop sign to get in front of me. Oh, look at him go. It's like he's running from the cops. And I will never stop like I'm running from the cops. Okay, all right. I'll catch up with you guys down the road. All right, we are on Highway 57 and uh, we're trucking right along. Uh, through, uh, through the uh, the great state of Illinois right now. Went through Marion, Illinois a little ways back. And uh, yeah, we'll be heading down here. We're gonna be grabbing the uh, uh, Highway 24 and then cutting over right there uh, through, uh, through Kentucky and down into Tennessee. And uh, well, I, I uh, am, I'm thankful for my wife. She called and she said, "Hey, so what time does that load deliver? Um, when are you going to be home?" I said, "Well, let me uh, you know, let me let me double check. I know it's at some point on Thursday." And uh, I opened it up, and the stinking load delivers tonight. So I mixed up. The appointment times for this load with another load I was looking at on the load board and didn't even realize that I was supposed to get from St. Louis down to uh, uh, Lynchburg, Tennessee uh, by you know by tonight. So uh, we're hammering down now. We've got to get uh, about 350 miles done and. Uh, and we got a long way to go in a short time to get there. That's that's the that's the truth of it, right there. So uh, so we're we're hammered down, and 
and uh, I'm gonna have to stop and get fuel at some point here in the near future. But uh, but anyway, yeah. So thankful my my wife called and asked because I was already thinking about where I would stop. Now, I was gonna look and just you know make sure I knew how many hours of, of driving I needed to put in tomorrow and all that stuff to make it to my appointment when I thought my appointment was tomorrow. But uh, yeah, lo and behold, I. Uh, I mixed up the delivery time with another load that I was looking at on the load board. I thought this load delivered at like 2 p.m. tomorrow, but it delivers at 10 p.m. tonight. So that's like a big, you know, like an 18-hour swing or so, 16-hour uh, swing. So I don't quite have as much time as I thought I was going to have. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it did tighten up my schedule quite a bit for... Uh, for what I can, you know, the, what, like, my schedule for today, uh, it, it, I would have done more miles last night, to be honest, if I would if I wouldn't have, uh, made this mistake, if I would have been, you know, if I would have been paying attention, I guess, I definitely would have chucked it a little further last night and gotten closer to Des Moines, Illinois, so that this morning I wouldn't have started so early and I wouldn't have had to put down as many miles to go uh, to make the delivery in Des Moines and then go make the pickup in St. Louis and I'd have more time left on my clock today to, to make this drive but uh, all in all we should have time to make it uh, it's just uh, a little, oh here's Marion Illinois okay did I say I was already in Marion Illinois I thought I had gone through it already but I had I knew I was coming up on it somewhere, but uh, anyway, so yeah, kind of glad that my wife asked me to look while I was uh, while I was driving. So I was like, "Oh crap, I gotta go." Yeah, all of a sudden I went from going 67 miles an hour to uh, stepping it up a little bit, you know, stepping it up. So we're gonna try it through tonight, and uh, we'll make the delivery tonight. And we'll, we'll just uh, we'll just sleep somewhere down there near Jack Daniels, and uh, and we'll be uh, somewhere somewhere down there. We'll we'll take uh, a sleep bro split down there and sleep our eight hours, and then uh, and then jump back jump back into the truck and, and take it take it you know the 50 miles home or 60 miles home or however far it is to get home from there. So uh, that is the plan. And, uh, yeah, catch up with the guys in a little bit. Hey, we stopped over here at the uh, Hux uh, truck stop, the pilot truck stop over here in Kentucky. And uh, we got a ways to go yet. Uh, we got to kind of hustle, but mainly we just, we're missing out on, uh, or we're, we're having, we're, we're tied on drive hours. Um, we, I have, I have until, what, like, 8.07 tonight before my 14's up so I got like actually I guess they're pretty close together drive time and 14 hour clock so uh, anyway I'm gonna run in here and use the restroom and then we'll get back on the road and hopefully we can get through Nashville without too much of a hassle
probably slows down kind of right here up these little hills and stuff but and it is uh, just before six o'clock 6 p.m so we're gonna we're gonna be running pretty close uh when we get uh gonna be running pretty close when we get up there so hopefully hopefully we can get through these slowdowns and then there's a slowdown of course in downtown nashville Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully. But you know. We'll just keep on trucking. Even if it even if it sucks. Uh, we'll, I can pull over for a little bit and probably save some of my drive time. But like I said, my 14 hour clock is really close to my to my drive time clock anyway. So it, it wouldn't make a huge difference, but it would I could do that and save a few few minutes so I don't know we'll see right now I'm just gonna get through this little slowdown and then uh, when we get closer to downtown I'll make that decision uh, I'll catch up with you guys down the road all right so sorry I was on the phone for a while but we uh, got through Nashville and then we just slammed on the brakes and I'll just be honest with you guys I'm about 45 minutes away from the delivery and I just ran out of hours but there was a truck accident that had traffic backed up I lost about an hour and 15 minutes I would say so um, I am gonna PC to the delivery tonight uh, that's within the rules of the law look it up uh, unexpected things on the road qualify for um, PC so I will use personal conveyance and I'll go that direction and get to my delivery so that I can uh, get it done because that was ridiculous ridiculous traffic but it was some sort of a truck accident when I went by I didn't look um, you know we were accelerating past it and there was a truck next to me so I wasn't gonna like slow down my lane so I could see because that's what rubberneckers do that's why we're in part of the issue we're in right because everyone wants to see what happened so I just kept going but I didn't see it was a, a you know like a rotator wrecker so I usually use those for big rigs and then uh, I just I just kept my head down and kept on trucking uh, but anyway so kind of a bummer of a, of a way to um, you know I, I was on track for everything to be like I had a good like 20 to 30 minute cushion the whole time I was driving I kept that 20 to 30 minute cushion and then once I got into Nashville it just all went to crap so yeah that so I got that 30 minute cushion plus 45 minutes that's the hour and 15 minute delay that I had so anyway uh, I stop in to use the restroom and switch myself into personal conveyance and then I'll get the heck out of here in a little bit and we'll get on down the road Jack and Lynchburg, Tennessee is out here in the sticks. I mean, I knew that, but I didn't, I didn't know that, you know? What is that flashing light? That's saying that there's a bus stop ahead. Pretty sure the kids are home in bed at this point in the evening time, but we'll use caution nonetheless. Uh, we're on Highway 82, State Route 82 in Tennessee, coming down towards uh, uh, Lynchburg and uh, there was a little hill we climbed just now uh, after we came out of uh, Shelbyville and then uh, now we're coming down the back side of it so this is uh, this is all exciting stuff man I've never been out here even during the day so I just trusted that this uh, numbered highway wouldn't be too bad Tennessee has tricked me before with their numbered highways, but uh, this one wasn't too bad. And we're turning in a mile and a half onto another numbered highway, so hopefully, you know, hopefully, hopefully, it, uh, oh, there's a truck coming. I always like seeing other trucks coming down the road, because... That tells me that, um, you know, there is, there is a, that it's a truck road, it's a truck route. 
But uh, anyway, we should be there in about 10 minutes, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys when we get there. All right, so I forgot to court record when I was checking in, but I checked in at the gate, and uh, now I'm just trying to keep up with this security guard. He's taking me back where I need to go. So he's in the pickup truck up there, and uh, he's taking me back all the way back here. This is a huge place, man. I guess people like their alcohol, huh? People like their alcohol. There's a lot of trailers in here too, man. Now I see why Big Big G Express has so many trailers over there in uh, Murfreesboro. They do a lot of stuff out of here. That Big G Express is a big company. I had never heard of them until I moved out here. And now I'm like, dude, I see them everywhere out here. All right, I guess I'll just... Uh, stop right here and then kind of blindside my way back into one of those docks there's plenty of room so I'm not really worried about it but cool thank you appreciate it I have to say I like being um, I like being escorted back here because it would have been difficult with all of the, the different driveways and buildings for me to find my way back here i probably could have done it but i appreciate the the escort because it just made it easy so i'm gonna go check in here with the uh, receiving office all right we got checked in now we just got to get to door six one two three four five six all right i think Yeah, we got, they gave me the one in the middle. I like that. See that? People always give me extra room because they know I need it. <laughs> All right. Let's get, uh, get this seal. I was doing that so that I could uh, screenshot that later and um, send it to the broker because they asked for a picture of the seal and I forgot to give it to him when I left. I'm terrible sometimes, guys. My brain doesn't uh, remember all that kind of stuff. The little tedious details. I'm not a detail guy. All right, I'm gonna get it back into the dock and um, she's making a copy of my, of my, uh, of my bill of lading and the copier tried to eat it <laughs> so she's trying to get it out of the copy machine right now and take a copy of it so hopefully uh hopefully i'll have a a proof of delivery here uh, once i get in the in the door but uh anyway all right get back then all right we are uh empty that only took about uh, an hour give or take so, all in all, you guys who say dry, uh, dry van loads go a lot faster, well, I would say you're right so far today and uh, yesterday, because these uh, protect from freeze loads that are basically dry loads, they, uh, they're, um, they're not going to grocery warehouses, that's for sure, and uh, way better way way better so all right well in the video next i think i'm gonna break down the numbers but uh i'll probably just do that once i'm at home tomorrow so we gotta do that little bit of deadhead at home so uh yeah i'll check in with you guys tomorrow and we'll break down the numbers uh for the week a little three little short hops to to make a little bit of money this week three little short hops that's it about four days of work really three right today's wednesday night yeah, three days of work. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, all right.
Sorry, I was just having fun with the drinking game, people. They, you take a shot of water for the all rights and the alcohol is the us. And you die of alcohol poisoning before you die of water poisoning, apparently. So, good luck to all those participating in that. Um, I have, I have some, I, I don't talk well. I don't speak well. I don't talk good. There's a lot of gooder talkers than I am. Uh, but anyway, that's just, that's how I roll. That's, it's what I do. I, I don't script these. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> uh, I'm not a professional. Um, uh, no one will be inviting me to be on their newscast to read the teleprompter. That isn't in my future. But what is in my future is telling you guys the numbers. So uh, three days of work, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? Uh, we grabbed a load from Murfreesboro out to Memphis, delivered that on Tuesday morning. Dad headed over to West Memphis, all of like 30-something miles. Went up from West Memphis up to Duquoin, De Illinois. And then uh, went from there, deadheaded into St. Louis, which was a longer deadhead than I would have liked. And then took from St. Louis down here to Lynchburg, Tennessee. And then deadheaded, of course, back here to the house, which was like 40-something miles. So we, uh, we made it back, and uh, all of those miles together come out to 1,075 miles. Um, so... Uh, Yes, I love Tennessee. Cause so that's just like a dude on a on a quad, just like going down, going down the street, no helmet on, and just riding a quad on the street. Because why not? <laughs> why not? Um, 1,075 miles, and uh, the revenue on this was um, uh, 3,000. Oh, just over 3,000 dollars. So anyway, it comes out to like 275 a mile. Um, and not a lot of revenue this week because we're cutting the week off short. Uh, I was trying to get home. We're leaving tomorrow morning. Um, so it would have been nice to have like today. But like, like I said, I thought this lo that load uh, you know delivered today. So I thought I was getting back today. I didn't realize I was going to be getting back last night. And, uh, you know, trying to sleep in the truck and figure out figure out how to make it all work with my, uh, you know, using personal conveyance and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it wasn't. It, it wasn't uh, wasn't the the original plan. I'll, I'll say that. But uh, anyway, we got it. We got here and uh, two seventy five a mile. Whatever. Not not a big deal. Um, got some revenue in the in the bank, and um, you know we're just keeping the truck rolling, man. Got to keep the truck rolling. And uh, Dollywood Dollywood's this weekend, so that's what I had to get back for. Um, got uh, got big big plans, and um, uh, supposedly Dollywood's supposed to be amazing during Christmas season. So we're gonna go and check out what that's all about and uh yeah we might take some take some video while we're there and show you guys uh what we're what we're doing but uh yeah that's this is where we're gonna cut the video off uh this is it for the week uh so i had to split this video actually into two videos uh last night when i looked at the footage i was like holy crap i've been i've been talking a lot today been talking a lot it's what i do uh so anyway um two dollars and 75 cents a mile just over three thousand dollars in revenue just some little short hops uh keeping me busy keeping me close to the house so that i can make it back from dollywood and that's the that's the run of it that's the ball game that's all that's all i got to say about that all right because life is like a box of chocolates sometimes all right you never know what you're gonna get but with me you do know that you're gonna get a little outro that doesn't make any sense like chill till the next episode or uh, see you guys on the next load even though there is no next load scheduled yet uh, or see you guys tomorrow even though you won't see me tomorrow I don't know all the outros don't fit so I'm just gonna say uh, love you guys peace out and uh, see you next time that works